Hey guys, it's Conf Kali with Studios here. We're here at Great Adventure on 4th of July weekend, which is something we usually never do. But as you can see, the weather's really crummy and the park is dead. So it should be a pretty good day. Hopefully the weather can hold out a little bit. Um, when we were walking in, we did see that Sweet Treats is being renovated. I'll take a picture on the way out to show you guys, but that's really cool to see. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat, probably either at Jersey Devil Barbecue or the cheesesteak place by Batman, then hopefully get on Jersey Devil. Just finished eating our cheesesteaks at Mama Flora's Grill. We're gonna go head over to Jersey Devil now. So we did a few rides ever since that last vlog clip. Um, we did finally get on Jersey Devil once. When we first came over here, it was broken down. Um, in the meantime though, we had done Batman and Wonder Woman. Both are great. Jersey Devil feels a lot smoother than the last time I rode it, which was a little less than a month ago. I feel like they might have done some track work in certain spots. It's running pretty good too. It's running decently fast. Um, Tom got back row. Tom's actually over there ordering food. My dad and I got the front. Um, but like I said, it was really good. So I think we're gonna head over maybe to Ka and see what's up uh, or do Justice League. I'm sure the rain will be coming down very soon. So that will be the time to do indoor rides. So we'll see what happens. dizzy so we're over here at sweet treats i gotta make this quick because of the loud music but yes they are redoing the inside of sweet treats right now let's see what i can see inside there's the inside of sweet treats it's definitely being redone heavily in there lots of stuff going on in there so we came over here to con zumanjaro cod just went down for weather so we're gonna try to get on zumanjaro but the more important thing is that there is a track segment missing from el toro right there that is where the train valley if i'm not mistaken and as you can see right there, there's a track segment on the right side missing. If we move up a little more, you probably see it a little better, but um, that's probably a sign of more track work to come due to the derailment. There is the track segment missing right there. They have a train sitting on the brakes right now. Looks like there's only five cars. So as you can see, there are only five cars there for a train, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but it kind of only looks like five cars. Does that say, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There's only five cars on A train. They took the sixth car off. That's the car that derailed. There's also a ton of geese over here. But yeah, don't expect Toro to be open anytime soon. So now we're over here by El Toro. Um, pretty much everything else, shut up. Okay. Everything else in this area is open except for El Toro. So there is a little bit of foot traffic, but they have the entrance and exit both blocked off so that no one can sneak up the exit. Um, like I showed in the last clip, there was only five cars on a train and there is a segment of track missing towards the end of the ride. But this is close. We're going to get to El Toro for a long time. It's unfortunate, but that's how it's going to be. So over here at El Toro's entrance, it is closed, presumably for a long time, but Six Legs TV is still going. So we just rode Mine Train, we're over here at Log Flume now, and as you can see, um, this is where the incident occurred, where it smashed into that rail a bit too hard, and that is all new right there. You can tell because it's bright and not faded, that is brand new right there. Hopefully they can get this up and running again soon, hopefully. So 
Just rode Ka twice, and would you, what do you know? The sun is coming out. Pretty surprising, but this day is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I was expecting thunderstorms around right now, and it's really nice out right now. Very surprising. I think we're gonna go grab a bite to eat at Best of the West, which I haven't eaten at in years. So we went over there, and there's just a bunch of employees standing there in the kitchen doing absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna guess it's closed. So we just finished our marathon of Jersey Devil. Matt and Chaz have joined us. Um, I rode 16, he rode 15. We found quite the strategy that I will not be telling anyone, but that was insane. There's absolutely no line anyways right now. Um, got back row countless number of times. It was an insane ride. What'd you think? Absolutely great. What'd you guys awesome think? Awesome ride. That threw me for a shot. Yeah, great. It's really, really good ride. Is it better than Voyage? No. no. Doesn't even touch it. It annihilates Voyage. All right, next clip. It's Uncle Sam. And we're still here. We're probably gonna stay for the fireworks that they just announced. Here we are over by where the fireworks will be. We got ourselves Johnny Rocket Milkshakes. Gonna head back over to the other side of the park. It looks like they're getting ready to go. They have all kinds of drinks getting ready to be brewed. They have glow sticks and whatnot. They have the Chasmanian Devil in the smoking section. And they have this all set up over here. Why do they have a French flag out? Look, it's a French flag. It's just a long French flag. Well, whatever. So I just got last train of the night on Jersey Devil with the fireworks in the background. That was incredible. This ride is definitely a ride to ride at night. It was pitch black and it was so, so good. So many Zen rides, 24 rides total today on Jersey Devil, which if that's not great, I don't know what is. That was just spectacular. Matt, how was Jersey Devil? Amazing. Shot up in my ranking. Figured that. We gotta go catch up with my dad and Chaz. There's the fire. We gotta get over there as quick as we can. But yeah, what an incredible day that should have been packed and it was empty. I guess that's what weather does. So we are heading out of Great Adventure. We just finished watching that fireworks show. Um, like I had put in that title text, you can tap the I card to watch the full video of the fireworks show. But that was a really good fireworks show, really long. Um, we just talked to a couple people inside of The Last Drop, taking a look at their merchandise. And now we're heading out. Dad, would you say it was a good idea to come here today? Yes, it was a very good idea. And it always turns out one of these days that looks like it's gonna be crappy. You come here. And it's fantastic. And it's fantastic. Matt, what'd you think? Oh, today was amazing. That Jersey Double Marathon at the end of the night was fantastic. I agree. What'd you think, Chaz? For a little over three hours we were here, we had a blast. Yeah, fantastic day. Um, shocking that 4th of July weekend Friday was empty, but that's because of the weather. So don't expect the same for Saturday and Sunday because Saturdays are always packed regardless of weather. But that's going to do it for this vlog. I want to end this before I get copyrighted. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This guy is playing the bongos in the parking lot of Great Adventure. You see a lot of interesting stuff in this parking lot.